Today, we are going to cast 22 rat colonies on turn one. I'm serious. This journey starts with Thrummingstone, a card I saw being discussed on forums as it has a funny combo with Rat Colony. This combo is super simple. Thrummingstone gives your spells ripple 4, meaning when you cast a spell, reveal the top 4 cards of your library and cast any with the same name. As you can load up your deck with as many Rat Colonies as you like, you can keep casting Rat Colonies which all have ripple 4, taking all of the rats out of your deck and putting them on the table. Now you may be asking, how the f am I meant to do this on turn 1? May I introduce you to the most broken mana sources of all time? Yes, we are going to be abusing the most broken artifact ramp for the sole purpose of putting 22 rat colonies into play. Now the one problem with this meme strategy is that we can only do this in Vintage, a format full of turn 1 kills, multiple force of wills, countless ways to destroy artifacts, and also even lands that just counter our combo. While this deck is nowhere near good, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rats. The first round I want to showcase is the fact that this deck can win without Thrummingstone. While Vintage does have a very small ban list, there is actually a restricted list which means you can only play one copy of the card in the deck. This is why we only have one of each degenerate mana source as well as things like one Karn, one Thorn, one Trinisphere. I put a load of degenerate one ofs in the deck so that we can cast them, heavily disrupt the opponent's game plan, and just hard cast the rats to win the game, and the plan is actually pretty effective. As you can see here, I used a Mox and a land to cast the Thorn to try and disrupt the opponent, but they had to use a Force of Will on it. The opponent then plays a Spell Land, a Mox, and a Demonic Tutor, and plays a Black Lotus. But like a beast, we rip Mox Emerald off the top of the deck, meaning we can cast the Karn. And as the opponent used the Force of Will last turn, they don't have one here. As they played the Spell Land, they can only be on Oops All Spells, so I'm going to get a Tormod's Crypt here to lock up the game, and the opponent does concede. But we would have won this game by just casting these two rats and attacking in because the opponent wouldn't be able to combo us. Being on the draw against a combo deck, we need all the degenerate disruption that we can get. Leyland of the Void and Mindbreak Trap is the best way to stop Oops All Spells for free. Being on the draw game 2, we have two Mindbreak Traps in the opening hand, as well as the Thrumming Stone to try and combo if we find more degenerate mana, so this has to be a keep. The awkward thing though is the opponent starts off with the Gitaxian Probe which means they know we have two Mind Break Traps now so they're going to play around them for the rest of the game. They just play another Spell Land and cast a Mana Vault. On our turn we top deck a Rat Colony so we're going to have to play one. One thing about Vintage that I think people will underrate about the Rat Colony is that no one plays removal spells. Vintage is not a format where people are typically looking to attack with creatures which means you don't have things in Legacy or Modern where you play Swords to Plowshares, Lightning Bolt, Fatal Push, none of that. And that's what makes this somewhat powerful as you can just cast a rat every turn and if the opponent's stumbling on their combo or you have a disruptive spell, they could just lose. And the opponent shows here that they kind of are stumbling because they use a mana vault and a black lotus to hard cast a seagate restoration. Now this is pretty good, it's drawing four cards, but we just got to keep slamming rats and hope that the mind break trap can help us survive. We draw a rat, play a rat, and attack in. And what's really useful here is this Mana Vault on the table is actually going to be relevant in order to help us get lethal, as one damage per turn for that being tapped in their draw step does add up. Now I'm going to guarantee that no Magic player in the history of Magic the Gathering has ever seen this play before. My opponent is casting a Narc Amoeba so that they can trade with a Rat Colony in Vintage. Now for the rest of the game we just slammed a Rat Attack, they took a draw step, and they conceded. Okay, now let's move into the actual Rat Colony's Thrumming Stone combo on turn one. On the draw, for our opening hand, we have Black Lotus, Mishra's Workshop, and a Mock Sapphire, which gives us exactly enough mana so that we can cast Thrumming Stone and Rat Colony on turn one. To make things even better, our opponent uses Serum Powder for their opening hand, implying that they're playing a Hollow One deck slash Bizarre deck, which means they don't play Force of Will. The opponent starts off the game with a Once Upon a Time, uses Bizarre Baghdad to put two Root Wallets into play and a Hollow One. That is not enough for what's about to happen to them. Now we draw Rat Colony, which is actually one of the worst draws in the deck, and that's specifically because that's one less Rat Colony we can hit from the Thrumming Stone. Anyways, we get the stone down, cast the rat colony, and we hit one rat colony in the top four, which is exactly what we need, but we need to chain more of them. Come on, it's not that hard to chain more of them. We find two rat colonies in the next one. As all these rat colonies have ripple four, we just go through our whole deck and put them all on the table. Now, something sad is that most vintage players just scoop to the rat colonies before we even get them on the table, so let's move on to the next game. 
A problem that I have throughout all the matches that I played with this deck is that instantly after people realized that I had barely any interaction, even though I had something like Leyland of the Void here in game two, the opponent just played to the board and just beat me because they know all I had to offer was Rat Colonies. Now we did manage to get the Thrumming Stone down in game two, just we didn't have enough time to win the game because the opponent was pumping their Hex Drinkers to make them attack through with protection from everything. However, going into game three, we have the perfect hand. We have Leyland of the Void to disrupt their bizarre combo. We have Thrumming Stone and Black Lotus, which means we can get it down on turn two. And we have multiple rats so that we can combo. We put our Leyland and Swamp into play and say go. The opponent uses Once Upon a Time and Bazaar to put a Root Walla and a Hollow One into play. So now we've just got to slam the Thrumming Stone and hope that they don't have interaction. We play our land, Black Lotus and Thrumming Stone and the opponent does not have Force of Vigor and just untaps. The opponent goes straight to combat, attacks, and then has a Besaju for our Thrumming Stone. Now it's not the end of the world here actually, because if we can draw a mana source, we can cast two rats and start dumping to the board. Yeah, our deck did not want us to win this game. Now we actually could have won. I'm, I'm pretty confident if we drew a fourth mana source, we would have been in a really good spot here because just dumping rats on the board with the Leyland of the Void in play, I would assume is very hard to beat from what the opponent showed us in their hand. But sadly, they have the Beseju, they win. Going into the next round, we're on the play and have to mulligan a very clunky opening 7, but find an amazing 6. What's good about this hand is we can play our Black Lotus, play our land, and play the Chalice of the Void on 0, so then we can stop our opponent from playing degenerate sources like Black Lotuses of their own, so then we can Thurming Stone on turn 2. What we do here is bottom our useless rat, and then start playing. We get all of our spells down, the opponent doesn't have a Force of Will, untaps and plays a Cavern of Souls. This shows that they're on the new Mono White Initiative deck in Vintage. As we have 5 mana and a Thrumming Stone, we got a Slam and pray they have nothing. And nothing they have, the opponent just plays a Thalia Guardian of Thraben and we get to do our Rat Combo. I really am interested in the maths behind it and what the chances to whiff from this Rat Colony combo because we are playing 22 rats in the main so I would assume that it's quite likely to hit all the rats. Anyways, throughout all these leagues that I played, I actually never whiffed on the Throwing Stone, so let me know down below if you know the maths behind it, but let's move on to the next game. The problem we have game two, the opponent has a turn one Trinisphere which completely shuts down our hand and our combo, so we end up conceding because they play an initiative creature on turn two, and also have a Wasteland to destroy our land and ruin our mana. And then in game three, we have a decent opening hand with a lot of mana, Thrumming Stone and Rats, but the opponent has a turn one Archon of Emeria, which is just impossible for me to beat as we have no removal spells in the deck, so I end up conceding. I ended up paying $20, yes, $20 to showcase this absolute meme of a deck. I do not recommend buying this deck, I do not recommend playing this deck, it is very hard to win with it. While I managed to combo about five times throughout two leagues, it is just not consistent enough to win the game despite my tuning. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want me to play more decks like this. That's about it though, check out this video because YouTube thinks you'll like it.